Hello guitar lovers, Tony Palacios here. How's it going? Um, hey, I wanted to do a post on this new guitar I got a couple days ago from Zane Guitars. And even though it's late at night and I'm about to fall asleep and I have a little bit of a cold, this is the only time I can make a video and have this mic pick it up. Um, because otherwise I have dogs barking and kids screaming and everything going on all day. Um, but I was super excited to make this post because uh, of this guitar. I've been playing it the last couple days, like I said. Um, this is a PCS D Custom. That's the model. PCS D or PCS, whatever I said. PCS D Custom. I told you it was late. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about it. Uh, handmade body like all Zane guitars, handmade, hand-shaped neck uh, by Rick their luthier, um, Rio Grande pickups. Now this particular one has hum single. Um, pretty sure they're going to do a humbucking humbucking if you want that as well. Um, all the parts, so Rio Grande pickups, all the parts, everything made in America, handmade in America by an American luthier, Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Holy cow! I can't believe it. I cannot believe that they can make an American-made, all-American parts guitar for six ninety nine. I mean, the reason we get stuff so cheap in the states because everything's made overseas. Um, this is real craftsmanship, and I got to tell you, I've been like I said, I've been playing it the last couple days. Um, I don't feel any corners cut. I've been ripping on this thing, trying it through different amps and different amp sims and stuff, and it feels like all, you know, the other guitars I have from him or from Zane, uh, they're going to do this in a basswood body, flame maple top. Um, they're going to do three stock colors to keep the price down. Um, and don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it's trans black, trans red, and trans blue. Um, and I think, I talked to Rick tonight, I think he even said they were going to try and do a roasted maple, you know, the darker maple for the neck. Um, I mean, holy cow. I mean, Rick, Rick is a guitar player, so I think what they're trying to do is bring value for dollar, you know, value for your money. Um, for us guys who, you know, love great guitars... And if you guys have checked out any custom shop, anything, um, six ninety nine, no way. There's just no way you can touch that. Um, you know, this one's a custom color that he did for me because he loves me. I guess um, I would have taken any one of the other stock colors. Um, one thing that Rick has down, um, well, actually, he's got it all down. But um, I love his necks and. I'm kind of a neck freak. Um, if you go into a store, if I go into a music store, even if the guitar sounds great, if the neck doesn't feel good, uh, if the frets are weird or the action's goofy, um, I don't, I don't even want to play it. Um, all these guitars, I usually, I used to set up guitars uh, at a shop. Every time I get a guitar, buy it or do whatever, I always set it up. I do all kinds of stuff to it. Every one of his guitars I've gotten. They're ready to go. I'm, I'm not lying, man. I just it freaks me out because I'm, I'm so fussy about that. Um, this neck is amazing. It's thin, but it's not you know potato chip thin like the '80s and '90s guitars I used to play. It's got a little bit of a shoulder to it, so that when you chord, it's very comfortable in the hand. And the one thing, like when I used to play those thinner necks, when I'd be ripping around on it because they were so thin, this edge was kind of sharp, and it would dig in, especially when I was kind of playing bluesy, bendy stuff, it would dig in right here. That's the one thing I didn't like about them, that was just kind of uncomfortable. Um, this doesn't have that because it's got a nice little roll there. Super comfortable in the hand, but it's got that flat, modern radius that, um, the reason I think we love all those kind of ripper guitars. Um, nice flat radius. You can get the action super low if you want it. Um, very, very rippable. And, 
man, like I said, I've been playing this two days now, and I don't feel any corners cut. None whatsoever. This feels like his all the rest of his guitars. Um, amazing value for the dollar. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm going to play a little bit for you so you can hear what it sounds like so you know I'm not just uh, pulling your chain there. Um, go to zaneguitars.com and give Jeremy or Rick a call there and, and they will hook you up. Um, ripping. Check it out. I'm going to play something for you now so you know I'm not... F -f -f -fooling. <laughs> 